JHS1 students. You are welcome to the second day. And the final under capacity, mass, time, and money. So we are looking at money. And we are going to see how to calculate money. Okay, now, you know um, every country and their currency. Okay, and you know the money we spend in Ghana here or the currency here is what? Ghana cities. And you know that anytime you are solving questions and I tell you that and there is money involved, I always tell you to make sure you write the unit for the money we have here or the symbol or whatever it is for our money. So when it comes to Ghana, our money, it's represented as what? GH cities. Okay, first out, some years back, we only used to have it as cities. But for some time now, this is what we use, or this is what we are spending. Ghana C. So you bring the H, the GH, then the CD sign. If you write this, the CD sign, without the GH, you are referring to the old money we used to spend, the old currency. But the GH and the CD sign is what we are currently spending. Okay, now let's look at our first question for today. Our first question says, Ya bought 8 meters of cloth at 12 Ghana cities per meter. Ya bought 8 meters of cloth at 12 Ghana cities per meter. And a dress for 8 Ghana cities, 60 pesos. Each, how much did she spend all together? Okay, how much did she spend all together? Now, when you see this currency, if you see money written here, you know this that we are talking about eight cities and 60 what 60 pesos points. This one is just what 12 Ghana cities. So, this portion after the decimal point is what 60. After the decimal is what 60. And after the decimal is the points that is the 60 pesos coins. And before the decimal is what? What we normally have in notes or... Yes. So, that is it. Okay, now for this topic. The most important thing, just as in algebraic expression, I'll say that the most important thing is to know how to add and multiply integers and all that. For this topic, the most important thing is you have to pay attention to the question. It is English. If you don't understand the English, you get the whole question wrong. Now, the words you have to pay attention to, the words you have to pay attention to are each, pay, for every, all right? So these are the three words, or maybe we might need more, I don't know, but for now, these are the three words that I want you to pay attention to. Why? If I tell you that an orange cost one Ghana cities each, how much am I paying for three oranges? All right? How much am I paying for three oranges? That means that what? It is one Ghana cities times three. Which is what? Three. Which is what? Three Ghana cities. You get it? That means one orange is what? Um, one cities. And then one city. And then three oranges are what? Are costing three Ghana cities. Do you understand? And if I can also tell you that what? I can also tell you that three oranges. Three oranges cost two cities. Three oranges cost two cities. This time around, I have not brought each. I have not brought pay. I have not brought for every. So that means all the three oranges, their cost is what? Two Ghana cities. So if I tell you that, so if somebody says, I bought three oranges for two Ghana cities, that means all the three oranges cost two cities. But if the question says three oranges cost um, two cities, and um, you go and multiply two times 
uh, three and you get six CDs, your answer is wrong. Because they didn't tell you that it is each of them that is costing the two CDs. They said all the three oranges are costing what two CDs. So this you will get why this thing, this understanding is important for today's topic. So now let's pay attention to the, the question. Yeah, but eight meters of cloth at 12 Ghana cities per meter. That means that her mother sent her to buy eight meters of cloth, but every meter, so that means one meter is 12 or is what 12 cities. Every one meter is 12. So she bought 12 meters back, back what eight or one meter and uh, one meter cloth and um, eight so she bought eight meters of cloth so if one meter is eight and um, twelve see, that means you have to find the total for what the eight meters of cloth okay so let's find that now so yeah but so what you have to write is and this um, mathematics you have to write a little english so you write for eight meters of cloth or total or maybe total amount of cloth total amount Okay, let me just write for 8 meters of cloth, or maybe, okay, 8 meters of cloth, 8 meters of cloth, you know why I didn't write the total, you understand when I finish with the question, so 8 meters of cloth is equal to what? The 8 meters of cloth is equal to 8, so 12 Ghana CDs, it is important to your, your money, the unit, times what? 8 meters of cloth so that means it is what 96 ghana cities okay that means now her eight meters of cloth is costing what 96 ghana cities have you finished the question no after she made this payment of 96 um, ghana cities then she or she didn't make the payment but after the woman calculated this for her then she realized that the woman has a very nice dress in the shop so she asked the lady how much the, the dress cost. And the lady says the dress cost 8 CDs, 60 pesos. So now your question is that the night is uh, the, the 8 meters of cloth that she bought and the 8 uh, CDs, 60 pesos dress that she bought, how much did she pay for all? Okay, so you have to come and write total amount spent. So the total is what? The total cost for the 8 meters of cloth, so which is what? 96 Ghana CDs plus the cost for the dress. So plus 86 Ghana CDs. So your total is what? 104 CDs. 104 CDs, 60 pesos. Sorry, the 60 pesos here. 104 CDs, 60 pesos. So this is your total. I hope you understand the question. Okay. So that's your total amount of money she spent. Let's pick the second question for the day. A typist charges one CD 50 pesos per, you see what I told you to pay attention to, per page for the first five pages typed and one Ghana CD is 80 pesos for any additional page typed. How much does he charge for typing 18 pages? How much does he charge for typing 18 pages? Okay, now do you see the question? The man is saying that when you come to his shop, for every five pages, if you bring five, um, let's say, let me, before we come to the question, let's use this, 10, 10 pages. I brought 10 pages to Mr. Kofi for him to type. Mr. Kofi is telling me that for every, fair, every five, the first five pages, he's taking what? One city, 80 pesos for it. Then any additional, so where, which number do you think will be the additional number? It is the sit page, because that is the additional. So what you have to do with that, you have to first deduct the first five pages from these ten pages. So minus five. 
Now, when you get this five, the first five from these ten pages. Now, listen to what the question is saying. The question is saying that he is taking what per page. He is taking what the question. Uh -huh. A typist charges one CD fifty percent per page. That means it is just one page out of the five that he's typing. He's taking what the the one CD fifty percent. So, for me to get the first five, it's going to be what five times one CD what fifty percent. Right, which is what is it six to the fifty pesos? So this is what the first five pages. I'm getting what six to the fifty pesos. I'm paying that for the first five pages. Now, when I finish doing this, now I come and check the next five pages, which are additional. Why do I see the next five? So out the ten minus five, I'm left with what five. So all these five pages left are what we refer to what as additional pages. Okay, so the set. The seventh, the eighth, the ninth, and the tenth are all additional pages. But for that one, he's not charging one CD 50 pesos for it. That one is charging what? One CD 80 pesos for it. I hope you understand. So after after doing my six CD 50 pesos, now the, for the next additional. So you're gonna write a question as what additional is going to be what the five times what one CD what 80 pesos. So when you finish, whatever you get here, whatever it is, whatever you get here, you add this one to this one, then you get a total for it. So that's what I'm not going to worry myself. Now let's pick the first. So the, the number of pages is is typing is what 18 pages. So you have to deduct your five from what the 18. So let me clean this one. So because you want the teacher to know you understand what you are doing, so you write first five. First five. Right? So the first five is what? Five times what? <coughs> one CD 50 pesos. That's what it's taking for it, right? So one CD 50 pesos. And that is going to be what? Sorry, that's why I said six CD is rather seven CD 50 pesos. So pay attention to the, the correct answer is seven CD. 50 pesos. So for the first five, it's what? 7 to be 50 pesos. Now, you come and tell me, write it down. You want me to know that you know what you are doing. So you write additional pages. Now, if this one is the first one, that means your additional is going to be what? 18 minus what? 5, which is what? 13 pages. Okay, do you get it? So these 13 pages are the additional pages. Now for the additional pages, he's, he's charging what? One CD 80 pesos. Alright? For the additional pages, he's charging what? One CD 80 pesos. So you come and write total for additional pages, or maybe uh, sum of additional pages, whichever English does for you or whatever. So sum of additional pages. Or even when you get these additional pages, you can just come down and do your 13 times what? And that's what? 1 to the 80 pesos, right? So 13 times 1 to the 80 pesos. And that is giving us 23 CDs, 40 pesos. Alright, so do you see how interesting the question is? It is the English show. Pay attention to the English. Now, the question is what? Now, I have to know the total. So, total amount charged or total amount is going to be what? Your 17, which is for the 17 to 50 pesos is for the first five plus your additional. So your total or the man's total is going to be 30 cities, 90 pesos. 30 cities, 90 pesos. Okay, so you see how beautiful the question is. Okay, no, I couldn't write the third question, so I'm going to read that one for you. So please, um, Write it down, okay? Now let's quickly take the question. Miss Joyce Ofosu, mm, the name is not important, I can just write Ama. So Miss Joyce Ofosu spent 36 
six cities, 60 pesos on groceries. I have to clean up what? Okay, so you put the important information down. So groceries. She spent how much? 36 cities. 60 pesos. And 24 cities, 50 pesos on meat. Twenty-four cities, fifty pesos on meat. If she pays two fifty Ghana cities note, you see they are tricking you here. If she pays what two fifty Ghana cities note, how much change will she get? Now this is where they'll get you. Now they want you to know that. Do you know how much two fifty Ghana cities note? Uh, like the total for two fifty Ghana cities note. You are holding fifty Ghana cities note two. So that means in total, Miss Jessofosu has how much? 100 Ghana cities. Do you see how they treat you? So they say that if she gave the lady two, 250 Ghana cities note, how much change will she get? The first thing that you have to know is that your 250 Ghana cities note means that Miss Jessofosu gave the lady what? 100 Ghana cities. So simply you have to come and add this one to this one and you subtract from what? The hundred. So you have to write total amount spent. Total amount spent is what? This plus that, which is giving us 61, 61, 10. Then if you want to know the change, you just do what? 100 CDs. 100 CDs. Change. Okay, so before you write the change, let them know that you know how much. So, total amount given. Total amount. Amount given. Okay, so you have to come and write 2 times 50. Ghana cities and you write what? 100 Ghana cities. Okay, all these are marks. So then it can be a change. It's what? 100 Ghana cities minus what? 61 10 pesos. So in all, she got 38 Ghana cities, 90 pesos. So this is the solution. Okay. So I hope you understand everything we've done today. I'll see you all next week. Okay. I'll see you all next week with a new topic. Bye.